can I ask you a question? How well do you know your clients? How well do you understand the kind of problems that they are actually facing? And the question is, how well can your clients trust you? And are you really solving their problems? Or you are just one of the people who are just forcing their friends, relatives and other, you know, their followers to purchase uh, a product that actually they are not interested the thing is, people love shopping. People love buying products. And in this case, people love buying products online. But the question is, are we just forcing them to buy? Or are they really willing to buy our product or our services? That is the question. And if you want to know that people actually love buying products, we are going to start with you. How many times do you find yourself maybe going online and going from one page to another looking for a certain product and actually you cannot get it? How many times have you gone to those physical shops and trying to look for a specific product and you cannot actually get something which is pleasing you? And maybe when you go to this, uh, to this seller, they are telling you, oh, you can buy this one, just buy this one. And, and the seller is not trying to understand what is actually, what, what, what is the exact need that you do have. So, hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Karinge. Over here we talk about the importation business. I also talk about marketing and especially online marketing. And apart from that, I also talk about investment. And if at all you'd like to book a consultation with me or a mentorship program, then you can always take my number on the description box on, on my about on my YouTube channel. So guys, Today, I want us to focus more on uh, social media marketing. And I, I believe this is going to be actually my first episode. Before even we go deep and trying to understand where can you actually market your product, we need to, I need to highlight a number of issues that I, have, I actually feel that they are important. Personally, I'm not an expert on social media marketing. I just share out my experiences and things that I feel that they have worked with me. And I'm hoping that we are going to walk this journey together as we make the mistakes, rise up again and continue learning. It is learning, rerunning, learning, rerunning and so forth. So if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe. So first thing first. Anytime you decide that you want to do your marketing online, you need to have your goals well prepared. Probably you are selling a product or probably you are actually selling a service. But the question is, what is your end goal? What is your end goal? Somebody could be saying they want to market their products or services online because they want to get to increase their revenue. Probably they have a physical shop. They want to increase their revenue. It could be that they want to get new customers. For example, probably I'm based in Nairobi and I'm desiring to get new customers in Kisumu, Mombasa and etc. How am I going to get them? They even do not know the existence of my business. I'm going to go to the online platforms and market myself. So the very first thing that you need to do before even you start selling online, you need to understand your clientele. You need to understand your audience. Who are your customers? If I'm to ask you today, who are your customers? Where do they live? That is their geographical location. What is their sex? What is their age? What is their income? You need to understand all these factors. You need to understand what, understand your clients. Who are they? Who are they? If someone were to ask you, who are your clients? Personally, for example, I'm a content creator here on YouTube. And maybe if you are to ask me who are my clients, the good thing with YouTube is that it gives us the, the analytics and you're able to understand. For example, I can tell you that most of my followers here are women. It also gives me the age, the age between 25 to 35. That is the most percentage that watches me. 
it also gives me the geographical location most of these people are kenyans i have a number of ghana nigerians people in the us people in the uk people in the german so that is the good thing with youtube but maybe you, whichever platform that you'll be selling your products you might not get the real analytics but you need to understand your client clients who are they what is their age what is their income and then from that you will be able to provide a solution to them don't just provide an irrelevant solution to them point number two once you understand your clients who are they what is their age then from here you are going to decide which social media platform you are going to pick and start selling your product online. Most of the time and most of the clients that I have met, uh, they will tell me, Monica, can you help me to create an Instagram page? Can you help me to create a Facebook page, etc, etc. But this is what I will tell you. Creating that Instagram page, it's very okay. Creating that uh facebook page it's very okay and these are some of the sites where you can actually sell your products online but then the next question that comes who are your clients what are you selling what are you selling because you also find that um you might also find depending on the kind of audience or clients you have you might find that your clients are actually based on tiktok you might find that you're your clients, most of the clients where you can actually get clients, they are based in LinkedIn, LinkedIn, H, that one. Mm. For example, if you are targeting on professionals, for example, I'm not saying that the professionals, they may not be found in, the, in, in Instagram and Facebook. But you find that those CEOs, most of the time, they might find themselves being... Um, being maybe in LinkedIn and so forth. So you need to, and what kind of services are you selling? For example, for someone who maybe is in the fashion industry, you will not just come and say, I am selling a dress. For example, for the tailors, like this is an example. You, you will not just come say, I'm selling dresses and just post pictures, post them on WhatsApp, post them on Facebook, and then you think you are done. No, no. I think you need, you need to find some even creative way to do things. For example, I've seen some of these pages whereby you'll find that there's some women who are dancing, putting on new dresses, maybe acting and so forth. Uh, so this way a client is able to see the dress all around, behind, you know, everything and how it does. Other times, maybe you can decide to be doing some YouTube videos and telling people like, this is how I do this and this. I think if you combine this color and this one is going to work. This way you never know because you find yourself marketing yourself as you are enjoying creating your own videos so you need to understand what are you actually selling and something else number three number three the point number three that you also need to think about <clears throat> we have so many platforms for example i can name them whereby you can sell your product online talk about instagram talk about facebook talk about gg jumia uh, sky garden among others and on this platform, you could find someone, Jumia works for them perfectly. Most of the traffic, most of the sales, they get them on Jumia. And one day they decide maybe to go on Facebook and it never works for them. So maybe this one would be an advice that actually I would give you. I would say this, keep on testing. Testing, 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 testing. That is the way because you'll find that maybe Facebook is working perfectly for me and when I go on Instagram, it is not working for me. So the thing is not to give up. And don't do this. Don't just post one picture, one post, and then it doesn't make any sales and then you give up. No. Trust you me. Personally, when I'm buying my product online, it's very rare for me to purchase a, a product from a seller who just posted one post i would think maybe they just created this page one month ago high chances are i've not purchased from them but if i find a, a a seller who has been posting maybe posting every day and so forth at least i i tend to get some trust from them i tend to get some trust from them even a person who have operated over a certain period of time you tend to get some trust from them 
It's for example, when we are purchasing goods on Alibaba, I always tell you this, always work with um, work with a company that has operated three years plus and if possible five years plus. Not someone who just created their profile a month ago or a year ago, it's very difficult. And if even those people were to be interviewed, they will tell you in my first year of operation, I made very little sales. Second year, you know, it keeps on growing now and then. So don't just post today and you say, oh my goodness, I think business is not for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You will post today, tomorrow you are going to post, and the other day you are going to post. And then, as we do the testing on what actually works for you, you also need to find a way uh, what do what what kind of posts are your cl clients enjoying for example don't always post like serious stuff and the likes sometimes look for something which is actually trending mm? for example currently i find that china square is act is actually trending as you put your post out here out there can you attach it with whatever that is trending find some memes over there which are actually trending or something of this sort mm. because sometimes sometimes the clients are talking i'm selling clothes i'm selling shoes i'm selling this try to be a little bit creative and then maybe this way you'll find that clients will auto automatically come you away without even you telling them i need you to come and purchase my products then the fourth thing that i think i'll talk about is um the issue of ads or advertisement um i'll tell you this even before you decide to make those ads this would be my advice this is what i think i personally am one of the beneficiary a person who have made money selling my product online without even paying a single cent and for a start i think i i think this as much as you can make more money by paying ads trust you me you can make those ads on instagram or on facebook and make zero sales you will find that sometimes you'll just get some likes blah 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 as they are going i would say this but it also depends with you according to me i think it's okay if i can get some traffic organically organically before i decide that i want to pay that advertisement because i might find that i'm incurring too much costs and yet i have made zero sales so maybe in the next video i'm going to show you how you can actually make sales without paying any advertisement because it works but i'll just highlight go on to those groups what are you selling for example you are targeting on um on you know the breast breastfeeding women maybe you are selling some products for them for the babies or something else ask yourself ask yourself what where can i find this kind of women you know you'll find that maybe the first time mom, moms maybe there are certain there's a group with such a name on facebook you'll find all those kind of groups or communities join them join them and you can be able to sell from there other times you get other groups like maybe nakuru wherever sometimes you'll find the admin can say sell under this post sell other groups they just allow you to sell anytime so this is another way which you can sell even without you making any ads and i think and if you are interested in having uh, a similar video i think i'm going to be i will be doing this in the nearby future finally guys actually this is a tip that i can actually give you as much as you are selling your products online you need to find a way of putting your content out there creating content is not just only for the content creators it is actually high time that you find ways of putting content out there because i believe that things are actually changing and as you put the content out there ask yourself are you creating content that is actually resonating with your audience and how are you going to do this you need to understand what actually what what is this that is actually eating that is actually eating your client eating what is actually disturbing <laughs> what is actually disturbing your client for example let's say for example you are selling a fast tummy fast tummy what something to to help with the to reduce the tummy ask yourself why do we have women or men who want their tummy to become flat uh-huh it is not that maybe they want their tummy to be flat probably when they are comfortable with their tummy but why is it so High chances are there's someone who wants to get married soon and they want their tummy to appear, you know, they want their tummy to be flat, they don't want to be having use of tummy and water views. Somebody else wants to dress in that sexy dress. But unfortunately, when they dress in it, their tummy keeps on 
popping so you need to find a way of reason as you put that ad out there as you put that post out there can you try to make sure that it has some writings are they writing the post has some information that actually gets you know resonates with your client's feelings and emotion it makes them feel like they are somehow connected with your content and with this you'll find them just coming automatically to you and saying that they want to buy even without you telling them a uh, nausea frat time is g medicine um or whatever it is so guys i think that is it and if you guys you want me to talk more about social media marketing please let me know on the comment section below and if at all you have watched until this juncture and you haven't yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel as, as usual in our mandarin corner i want to teach you how to say this color you can see today i'm putting on a red top so how do you say red in chinese we say hong sa hong sa uh, maybe i would want to say i like red maybe i can say wo shi huan hong sa wo shi huan hong sa guys that is all for our today's video and until next time bye bye and zaijian road to 1000 subscribers thank you so much guys bye bye